Hi everyone, happy Halloween. So anyway, I hope everyone goes out and has a great fun time tonight, whether you're giving candy out at the door or you're walking around with your children or you're going to a party. I hope you guys have fun. So anyway, I had got, this is my last night of doing my two wines from my Halloween wine sampler. So I thought I would kind of dress up for you guys, have a little bit of fun. Yeah. So anyway, I've been doing a red and a white wine um, every night. Well, for the last two nights, except last night. I didn't feel like it because I work late. So yeah, I'm doing it today. And I've got some leftovers for my snack in between. So I had the Domino's, those chicken bites. So I got the uh, bacon. I forgot what it was. It was bacon and, bar bacon and barbecue sauce. And then jalapeno and pineapple and habanero sauce. Some dipping sauces. So I will have that off camera so you don't see me make funny faces. And so we got two wines tonight. So the white one that we're going to be doing is one of my favorites. I've never had this brand, but you know, Moscato is my favorite wine because Nancy loves sweet wines. So this is the Witch's Goblet, the Monster Moscato. And Moscato's are, you know, they're the sweet wines, but they're also light. So they're usually a little bit lower in alcohol than the others, the red wines. So this is only 10% alcohol which is pretty good. Hope keeps it light. It's usually light, fruity, and sweet. And the other one that I'm having is called Undead Red Blend. And again, Rich's Goblet. And Red Blend can be any red wine. So, uh, who's over the winery, they could maybe, if they have like a Merlot or a Malbec or um, the Cabernet Sauvignon or any of the, of the other red wines can go in here. I think if you buy a large bottle, they have to tell you what the percentages are. But I think probably on a one like this in a kit, they probably don't have to tell you. And the alcohol on this one is 14.5%. Alrighty, so yeah, so we're going to do the white wine first and then we'll do the red one. Alrighty, so you guys ready? I hope you guys are ready to have some fun. Yeah, I am really enjoying this uh, little wine event that I'm doing for my wine diaries. And yes, yeah, so I'm so glad that I found this while well. searching for Christmas advent calendars for wine. Alright, so we've got our Monster Moscato. And again, I probably forgot to get a piece of paper. Let's grab this. So as you can see, just how light it is, right? It's almost clear. I mean, it's the pale, palest yellow that I've seen. And the paper doesn't want to stay here for my next wine. Alrighty. So we hold it up and I can see that whatever it is, it's coating my glass. And again, I still don't know what those, the runners or the legs being. Some people say it's the alcohol um, evaporating. Other people say it's because it's sweet and it's the sugar and it's heavy. And some people say it doesn't mean anything at all. So yeah, I'm not sure. Sorry, I just had a blank stare, the deer in the headlight look. I thought my camera stopped recording. All right, so we're just gonna kind of swirl it around. Oh, it smells good. So I smell like peaches, maybe some jasmine. It smells like honey, maybe like a rose. It's just, it's very, very, how do they say, aromatic or some, something like that. Alrighty. So I know I love Moscato, so I don't know what I'm waiting for. Probably because I never really had to describe it before. But anyway, cheers everyone. Happy Halloween. All right, and I'm learning to kind of hold it in my mouth so all the taste buds can taste it. And this, because the, the, the fruit's in here, it's very acidic, which is, is good in wine. So automatically your mouth starts watering, it's salivating. It just, it just really, really feels good. And um, the acid in wines, it's kind of like why you maybe put salt on your steak or other foods. It kind of draws out and amplifies 
whatever the flavor is and complements it. So that's what the acid does in wine. Okay, I'm gonna have another sip because it's so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is good. So anyway, I'm going to uh, shut the camera off, get ready to do the red blend, have a little snack in between, and I'll see you in like two seconds. Alrighty, so now we are ready to try the undead, the red blend. And again, this can be any types of red wine that this winery has. So it could be anything, right? And red blends, I, you know, I think I, you know, I've had some in the past and it was kind of like, eh, I don't know. It's just, it's just, I didn't like that drying sensation. Maybe because I didn't understand it. It just, I like the sweet wines wet, better. And so I just didn't give these a try, but I'm trying to broaden my horizons because unlike me, a lot of people don't like the sweet wines. So I bring my wines to work to share and they're, they're all sweet. But when other people do, it's, they're not so sweet and I don't want to be rude. So I'm trying to have an open mind. Alrighty, so I forgot to show you the color again. So this is, as you can see, it's a deep, kind of like a reddish purple. I can see it coating the glass, and I can see a few runners, but not much. So I really don't know what that means yet. One day, I will have to figure it out. I'm going to swirl it around in the glass. That's the fun part. Well, the fun part is drinking it. Okay, so the fun part is having the snacks. Yeah, I'm a snack person. I like appetizers. I could go out to eat and just have appetizers. So right off the bat, I, bat I smell kind of like the woodsy, something earthy. I don't think it's oak, but it could be oak. Could be a mix of cedar and oak. Um, I smell something plums. Um, maybe maybe blackberries. It's it's sweet on that tote note, but I know it's not really sweet. It just uh, they use all those flavors to blend. So, alrighty, when I look in the glass like that, I can see the runner. So, if someone knows what that means, I'd appreciate it. Alrighty, cheers, everyone. Happy Halloween. All right, so this has a lot, a lot of tannins in it. It's like my cheeks are drying out, the top of my mouth, the, my palate's drying out. And again, the tannins aren't really a bad thing that used to kind of freak me out before because it was like I, I don't, I didn't understand it. But the tannins, um, they're they're good for breaking down proteins, which is why a lot of people use red wines when they serve like high protein meals, like something with meats in it. Uh, well, like like a spaghetti sauce with meatballs or if you have steak or prime rib or anything like that anything with high protein people use it use the red wines because it's got more tannins that helps break down the protein and the tannins it's just a blend of say the grape skins the stems the seeds and the wood that uh, it gets um incorporated into the wine from aging in the barrel so that's all it is which isn't that scary after all anymore Oh, but I'm concentrating on that, not the flavors. I'll be back. So again, I think it's blackberries that I'm tasting in here. Not so much cherries. I think it's plums and blackberries, but I'm not positive. And without anything on the label, who's to say if I'm right or wrong, right? So anyway, but I do appreciate it now. Where before, you know, I don't think I understood why it was drying and I didn't give it a chance. And I think now just kind of learning a little bit more about it and just little taste and just sniffing and trying to guess the fragrances. And I mean, given a choice, if, I, if I'm going to sit down and just relax and watch TV or whatever, I'm always going to be reaching for my Moscato. But if anybody else comes into work or I go over to someone's house, like, you know, sometimes I, I go to my neighbors or whatever, and I'll take my sweet wines and they always have their red wines out. So I always have the red ones and then think, gee, I wish they had opened my bottle. But I think I'm going to start trying to appreciate the red wines more. 
and sometimes it's all about the company not so much the wine and sometimes you have to drink with both hands well i'll put one down Alrighty, so i want to say happy halloween again i hope you have fun with your goblins and just have a lot of fun and that's you got to try to grab the happy moments when you can and make memories with your children i mean these are the days they're going to remember is dressing up and what they wore as the costumes and what were the favorite costumes and did they go door to door did they have friends and it's just part of life and part of life is having fun so take care everyone I hope to see you on my next Wine Diaries. So cheers. Till we see, see each other again. Bye-bye.